missed medication, judgment from healthcare professionals. Taking daily medications for chronic conditions can be a daunting task. Although taking medications is routine for most people, the proportion of people taking five or more prescription medications has doubled as chronic health conditions are on the rise. But for many, taking their medications according to their healthcare provider's instructions can be a challenge, and about half of patients with chronic conditions don't take their medication as prescribed. Medication adherence can be influenced by many factors, including socioeconomic factors, patients' perceptions, motivations, levels of physical or cognitive impairment, issues related to medication therapy, the medical condition being treated, and the healthcare system. The World Health Organization estimates that the average medication non-adherence rate in developed countries is 50% among patients with chronic condition. In North America, non-adherence accounts for $300 billion in avoidable costs annually. These costs result from the progression of the chronic condition and the need for more aggressive treatment. Poor adherence is also associated with lower quality of life and poor health outcomes. Now introducing Chronic Support, a medication adherence program that would assist with self-management by providing encouragement and strengthening social support. It involves consumer choice and is intended to be non-judgmental rather than reinforcing blame. Improving support, whether it be from peers, family, or healthcare providers, can help reinforce medication adherence by providing patient-centered care. According to the Journal of the American Medical Association, continually communicating with a patient may help identify patient needs and encourage self-management. Sustainability and self-management go hand-in-hand -hand for quality of life and better health outcomes, as the maintenance of long-term benefits is important to change behavior. In one study, problem solving and coping skills were found to be important factors influencing long-term maintenance of behavior change. Chronic support will primarily target those who unintentionally not take their medication through a technology-based self-management app. This is not your average medication reminder app. Clients will use our app, which will give them access to a social worker who will provide brief psychotherapy counseling, which could aid in coping and providing some monitoring and feedback for accountability and encouragement. It incorporates multiple concepts such as self-care, self-monitoring, health behavior change, client education, shared decision-making, and collaborative care which intend to empower the client about their own health condition so that they have a more active role in their treatment. Clients can choose when and how they would like to be reached, whether through text, phone call, or video chat. The app would also connect clients to their healthcare providers and pharmacists, which would introduce a shared decision-making model in weighing risks about their medication and chronic condition. We would implement a fee-for-service model by partnering with hospitals and pharmacies. Long-term, we would aim to develop a monthly or yearly subscription service for families, which would assist in caregiver burnout and incorporate AI in order to reach more clients. With chronic support, clients can expect to see improved quality of life by not experiencing frequent flares or complications due to non-adherence. And overall, the healthcare costs will go down. Chronic support aims at disrupting the medical industrial complex and the medical model of disability by redefining how we view self-management and adherence. Instead, we view medication adherence as the ability of the individual, together with family, community, and healthcare professionals, work together to manage symptoms treatments, lifestyle changes, with a psychosocial and cultural mindset. 